Lord, amen. That shall be your Lord from now. January, he kept you. March, he preserved you. April, he has sustained you. June, he has kept you. July, you are still standing alive and well. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. None has been able to attack you. He has kept you, kept your children, kept your family. Lift up your voice. Show him how grateful you are. Show him how thankful you are. He said, with long life will I satisfy you. Lift up your voices and give him praise. Allah Namaya. El Ketona Malada Buraka Zatolania. And Tuma Baliada Bora. A close mouth is a close destiny. Lift up your voice. Open your mouth wide. And deeply and deeply appreciate him. El Kotama Malada Buraka Sotania. El Toba. That one leper, he returned with a loud voice. That one leper returned with a loud voice. El Tonama. Don't let any devil close your destiny. Open your mouth wide. Lift up your voices. El Tumanamanama. El Kesota Balada Buraka Tenaya. Thank him intensely from your heart. Maliara Broko Zerketenia. Thank him deliberately. Thank him intentionally. Olana Malada Balada Boradia. Thank him intentionally. Thank him deliberately. Lift up your voice. Ah, Kutanama. It's your God you are talking about. He said, they compass me, they compass me about. When in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. Lift your voices. Cause every satanic stronghold against you and against your own. Malana Maladaba. El Ketona Balada Broko Zeketnia. Remember, I say, our change of story services. Lift your voice. Call upon him, Lord, change my story forever. From failure to success. From poverty to prosperity. From wickedness to grace and glory. From generational calamity to generational transformation. Lift your voice. Mania Manama. It's still blessing. It's still changing. El Kotamama. Nobody can pray for you like you. Open your mouth wide. Lift up your voice. Thank you and thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The loudest, amen, glory and honor we answer for you. Father, we thank you. They looked unto you and their faces were not lightened. They were, they were lighted and they are not put to shame. Lord, a loud amen, send your light our way today. We're here to show our gratitude for the first seven months of this year. A loud amen to us to higher altars in Jesus' mighty name. In everything, give him thanks. Not for everything. We're thanking you for what you have done. We're thanking you for what you are doing. And we're thanking you for what is on the way for accomplishment. Scheme a loud amen, you shall not miss your part. And he told with a loud voice to give you thanks. And you gave him perfection of all things. Scheme a loud amen. Go with perfect what concerns you today. And Lord, once again, send your word with power. Do what you alone can do. Give everyone a completion of miracles. Particularly every firstborn. Long overdue to be in front. Scream a loud amen. You are jacking from the back to the front this time. Thank you and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on with excitement. Your soul is changing already. Jump on your feet and scream. You won't shed tears on any matter for the rest of this year. The loudest amen is going back with the greatest testimony. Please be seated. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Congratulations. Say amen. Unlocking the supernatural. As we are running theme for this month of signs and wonders. How many have seen any good thing in your life this month? God has attended to your matter. 
You are buried in the seven days of praise, the last seven days. The loudest, amen. This seven day, God will change your story. It's our fourth wonder Sunday in the wonder series. That means God has covenanted. The God that does wonders to change levels. Wonder, change of levels. Wonder, next levels encounters. Wonder, change of story. A loud amen in 24 hours. Your story will change practically. I'm not hearing your loud amen if you're there. Unlocking the supernatural. And all that God has been doing is uh, been putting keys in our hand to unlock what has been tied down. In Luke 11:52, he said to the lawyers, you have held down the keys of knowledge. 52, Luke 11, 52. Oh, you lawyers, you have taken the key of knowledge, particular key that opens the door. That's why he said, my people are frustrated. They don't know how to unlock what is their due. Hosea 4, 6. Once you have the key, you know the truth. You see your place. It's easy for you to occupy what belongs to you. Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. There's a strange anointing indicated there. Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. He said, I can't say you. Come buy of gold that is tried fire. You become rich. And white raiment that it may be close. And that the shame of your nakedness will not appear. Scream a loud amen. Every nakedness in your family. Shame you have seen till now. A loudest amen is added today in the name of Jesus God. He said, I want to remove your nakedness. Take the key. And I will anoint your eyes with eyes, sir, that thou mayest see. That's your greatest asset in the school of the supernatural. He said to Abraham, as far as your eyes can see. If you can see your place, he said, from the moment he said to me, I can never be poor. I saw myself in prosperity. I have not been poor till now. But the moment he showed me and I saw supernatural church clothes, I said, no matter the size of our church, we'll be sitting outside. Clear problem. It's happening everywhere now. Anoint my eyes that I might see. My friends, if you can see what God is saying this month, one, your life will gain speed. I'm not sure I'm talking to believers. If you can see what the Lord is saying this month, he said to Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1, 11 and 12. Jeremiah, do you see what I'm saying? Jeremiah 1, 11. Do you see what I'm saying? He said, yes. I see the rod of an almond tree. And ever still, I will hasten my word to perform it. If you can see your children coming between the next seven days, there will be miracle conception in your family. If you can see your business changing level, I said the next seven days, they will soon send for you. If you can see it, you will enjoy breakthrough. Arise, shine, light has come. Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 3. No matter the darkness, see Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 3. If you can see it, light has come. Verse 3 says, Gentiles will come to your light. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. The last breakdown you suffer in your family shall be the last one forever. See what God is saying. Take your place. Lay hold on the key. Verse 8 of that Isaiah 60. He says, suddenly, within the next seven days, you will take a flight. Who are these that fly? As a cloud and as those to the windows. Ready to take a flight supernaturally. Scream a loud amen. They won't find you on the ground anymore. Verse 15 of that Isaiah 60. If you can see it, no more breakdown. Verse 15, read that scripture. One to go. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated, so that no man went before thee. What? I'll make thee an eternal excellence. The loudest you can and enjoy of many generations. If that is you, if that is your life, if that's your destiny, your two hands, your two legs, let your amen be the loudest one. If you can see as an elder, story will change. If you can see as a student, you will never fail again. If you can see it as a married man, you will never be at the back again. No matter your size, verse 22 of that verse, Isaiah 60. 
It says that shall be your ultimate this year. Read it me the hardest one. One to go. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong relation. And what? Are you ready for that kind of testimony? Scream a loud amen. You will never beg any devil again for the rest of this year. If you can see the supernatural as a reality in your life, you will enjoy all kinds of breakthroughs. One, you enjoy speed. Two, you enjoy breakthrough. Three, you enjoy dominion. You are created for dominion. You must never be a victim. Genesis chapter 1, 28. When you are created, you are not created to be hiding. Read that scripture. One to go. And God blessed them. And God said, what? Be fruitful and multiply. And what? Replenish the earth. And subdue it. And what? And have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing. I walk upon the earth. That means represent God on the earth. That's dominion. Represent God on the earth. He never negotiates with any devil. Psalm 66, verse 7. Psalm 66, verse 7. God is a verse 7. 66, verse 7. He says he ruled by power. Read that scripture. One to go. He ruled by power. His eyes behold the nations. Let not any rebellious exalt today. You are supposed to be in front. We are still begging at the back. Scream a loud amen from today. You are jacking to the front. Yeah. See what I'm saying. Exodus 7 1. That's what he told Moses. No, you don't be at the back. Want to go read that scripture? And the Lord said to Moses, What? See, I've made you a God unto Pharaoh. Aaron, thy brother shall be your prayer. See, you shouldn't be at the back anymore. No, I've made you a frontliner. You belong to the company of the firstborn. Whatever has been dragging you back. How many are ready to see a sin this morning? You shouldn't be at the back anymore. You shouldn't be negotiated anymore. See, the loud amen. Stretch your hands here. I declare supernaturally, spiritually, materially, financially, in all dimensions. You are somersaulting to the front line in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Unlocking the supernatural. So every Sunday we have been putting keys in your hand. One of them, two of them. This morning we are putting another two in your hand. The first service, we looked at the first key. The key of angelic interventions. Brother, angels are real. Angels are supernatural agents sent to help the righteous. Hebrews 1.14 They are divine agents sent to help the righteous. They are agents of your liberty. They are agents of your rescue. And one very striking thing about angels are angels are invisible, but they excel in strength. You may not see them, but you can't deny their manifestation. Every believer has an angel assigned to him. Angels are invisible, but they excel in strength. They can tear anything on your behalf when you stash them to go forth. In Psalm 103, verse 20. Psalm 103, verse 20 tells us clearly. It said, Blessed be the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hearkening to the voice of, the, of his word. Shows us three important things there. Angels are assigned to strengthen the believer when you are weak. They excel in strength. They are strengthening agents. Weakness is costing your life. I'm not hearing an amen from there. I said weakness is shattered in your family. Whatever all this years I look beyond your power is terminated now in Jesus' mighty name. It says they are also, the number two thing about angels is that they do God's commandments. They do his commandments. They are there to fulfill the will of God in your life. To do what is written concerning you. And three there, they hearken to the voice of his word. 
That means you tore them loose by your voice. Takes God's word back to him. Angels will move. Take God's word back to him. Angels will move. In 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35 to 37. Verse 35 to 37, you see a very interesting experience there. 2 Kings chapter 19, 35 to 37. It came to pass. There was a particular night. The angel of the Lord went out and smote the camp of Assyrians. 185,000 souls were slaughtered in one night. When they arose, all the attackers of God's people were declared dead bodies. Sedekarib departed from there and went to bow to God gently. I scream over your life this morning. Stretch your hands. Every tormentor, every attacker that have vowed death in your family, that have vowed destruction, they have vowed to stop you, they have vowed to harass you, to make a nonsense of your destiny. By angelic help, within the next 24 hours, you look for them, you will not find them there anymore. You will look for them, they are declared dead bodies in the name of Jesus. I say you look for them, they are declared dead bodies in the name of Jesus. I say you look for them, they are declared dead bodies in the name of Jesus. If you are going free from now, make your amen the loudest one. Anything that looks bigger than you, don't keep quiet. Charge the angel. Turn them loose. Take God's word. Daniel was in the lion's den. Who can fight lion with his hand? Who can go to lion's den and come out? The scripture shows us in Daniel 6, 21 to 23. One man went to the lion's den and came out alive. Verse 21, he said, Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live forever. I'm coming out. Read that scripture, verse 22. One to go. My God, what? I sent his angel. What? To shut the mouth of the lions. They have not hurt me. For as much as innocence was found in me, and also before me, let your basutaba. And then verse 23, the loudest you can want to go. Then the king was exceeding God and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the dead. So Daniel was taken out of the dead. No manner of heart was found upon him. Why? My God has sent ages to shut the mouth of lions. Why? I not only know that God gives protection by his angels, I believe in their angel, the ministry. I believe in the assignments. I speak to somebody that is a believer here. How many believe in your God? That is, believes in your God, believes in angels. I declare from now to the rest of this year, every trap that they have set against you, every plan against your advancement, every vow against your, your, your academic success, I declare, scream around, amen, angelic intervention answers for you. All the lions, all the dragons, all the necromancers, all the witches that are sitting at the doorstep of the door of your children, the doorstep of the door of your husband, of your wife, that are sitting on your job, that are sitting on your destiny, that are vowed it won't be well with you. The loudest amen 24 hours God will cut them down. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. A loudest amen the next seven days you will laugh. I said the next seven days your family will celebrate in the name of Jesus. Angels are real. How do you engage angels? I told them in the first service pray to God for supernatural deployments of angels on your behalf. Pray to God. They prayed for Peter. Angels came and set him free. Acts 12, 1 to 12. Church was praying. Acts 12, 1 to 12, particularly verse 5. It said prayer was made without season in the church. Peter was in prison. Prayer was made without season by the church. They were praying for Peter. Pray to God. Look at the next two verses. And as they prayed, angel heard. Peter was there in the prison. They were supposed to kill him. Verse 7, he said, as by reason of that, an angel of the Lord came out 
and said to him, jump up. He jumped up and the chase fell up and walked him through the prison doors to a point whereby he went to the door and was knocking. Verse 12, verse 13, 14 and 15. The man that was in prison, they were praying for. And Peter knocked the door. Good news. Where they kept you and went to town that you are not going for it. They will come back. They will not find you there anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter was knocking at the door. Rhoda went to check the door. Verse 14. And Rhoda heard no Peter's voice. She went and rushed and told them, the man you are praying for is at the door. Hallelujah. What they never thought we answer for a miracle, you are taking it from this service today. Look at verse 15. Read the ladders. You can want to go. And they said unto her and said, no, 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 no. She said, Peter is at the door. And they said, what? It must be his angel. Your angel will appear for you today. Make that amen louder if you're there. Number two, how do you engage the ministry of angels? Instruct them specifically on what you want them to accomplish for you. Angels of God, help me in this my exam. Angels of God, go bring the souls. Instruct them specifically. Many believers are tied down today because you take life too carelessly. Life in the kingdom is serious business, my brother. Don't play careless with your destiny. You don't have a spare life. Luke 2 49. Luke 2 49. Jesus said, I'm after my father's business. Kingdom business is serious business. Stop playing careless about your life. I can say what I like. I can do what I like. I can go where I like. No. There's an angel assigned to you. Amazingly, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6, if you're interested. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. Amazingly, there's an angel assigned to your family. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. Read that scripture. One to go. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. What? Neither say before an angel. What? It was an error. Where should, should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of your hands? You work so hard. But use your mouth to corrupt your labor. You work so hard. Use your carelessness to destroy your work. Why? Once you declare, the angel will carry it out. There's no error. It doesn't hear. It's only good that he hears. Many have destroyed pregnancies, destroyed marriages, destroyed great relationships. You rubbish it with your mouth. The one that should help you, you have confused the man. The one that should help you, you have corrupted the, 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 the agenda. Say not for an angel, it's an error. Stupid child, you never go forward. He said, he said, yeah, that's very true. The child will not go forward. So he got, 12 or, uh, he got uh, 5 or 10 the last time. Next time, he will get 1 and a half or 10 for you. We are, many are rubbishing their lives with carelessness. Say not before an angel, it's an error. Whatever you want to see in life, every good thing you want to see, that's what you should declare. They are Hebrews 1 14. They are sent to help you. Hebrews 1 14. They are ministering spirits assigned to help the righteous. Hebrews 1 14. Ministering spirits to execute miracle conception, execute breakthrough in business, execute supernatural provision, execute enlargement of destiny. Read that scripture. One to go. Are they not all ministering spirits sent for what? To minister to them that are heirs of salvation. This week you are going to enjoy some unusual helps. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Now, how many good things do you want to see in this service today? How many want miracle children here? How many want miracle marriage here? How many want healing here? How many want financial miracles? How many want supernatural turnaround? Lift your voice now and declare with faith. Call that angel to go forth and execute for you. Lift up your voices. Angelic helps. It's, it, the gates opened up for Peter. Lift your voice and declare gates must open by angelic help. Lift up your voice. Every barrier must be cleared out of the way supernaturally. Like Katamanama, call for the support of an angel. 185,000 answered to the angelic call. Lift your voice and call for supernatural support in every spiritual warfare. El Katunama, El Kasanama, El Taba, they were praying for Peter, but the good news was waiting at the door. Lift your voice and call for good news by the help of the angels. 
and to balana brakata balana marakata bolania call for supernatural harvest this week el katona mania no barrenness no dryness this week only fruitfulness el to mala broko zanka tanda bola neka satona and to manama el kasatoba el ketabara blakasaria el kotaba remember a close mouth is a close destiny charge the angels lift up your voice charge the angels don't negotiate your future charge the angels Lana Munama, refuse delay refuse denial in the name of jesus lauta balanamaya el kesota manta bolania el kesota balada balada balaba thank you and thank you in jesus mighty name we are praying today your story will change ready for a change of story by an international angels make your amen the loudest one the second key is the key of praise the key of high praises brethren praise is a spiritual weapon that has capacity to crush our toughest and roughest battle in life. A spiritual weapon has capacity to crush, to scatter our toughest and roughest battle in life. Praise may look neglected as a weapon of warfare. Everybody prays. But I'd like you to know, you pray for victory, you also praise for triumph. You pray for victory, but you also praise for triumph. God does fearful things in praise. Exodus 15 verse 11. God does wonders in praise. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praise is doing wonders. God does wonders in praise. He will answer for you. Why? You can't beat God in praise. You can't limit God in praise. In Psalm 22 verse 3, Psalm 20 verse 3, But thou art holy, you inhabit the praise of your people. You can't miss God in praise. You can't limit God in praise. No matter the battle, God will appear and do victory in praise. No matter the challenge, God will appear and there's a good liberty in praise. In Acts chapter 16, 25, 26, all the way to 30, the Bible tells us, Paul and Silas, at the midnight hour, they had one of the greatest challenges of their lives. But instead of crying, they prayed and they sang praises. The prisoners had them. And God stepped in. And there was an earthquake. The foundation of the prison was shaken. And immediately, all the doors were open. Everybody's bands were loosed. Scream a loud amen. Close us shall open up for you now. Every enemy of your destiny. Scream a loud amen. God will surprise them with destruction. They were dancing and praising. The keeper of the prison was under torment. All those that are vowed to lock you up. God shocked them with your liberty this time. He saw the prison doors open. He wanted to kill himself. All those that want to kill you, that wants to slaughter you, in seven days they will kill themselves. That amen is not loud enough. All I'm saying to you, remember, praise spiritually triggers the supernatural. Praise spiritually triggers the supernatural you praise god's presence comes down and if we do trigger the supernatural spiritually triggers the supernatural at the point in time when jehoshaphat did not know what next to do the bible says in second chronicles chapter 20 22 to 24 they began to sing praise an ambushment attacked their enemies. They fought themselves. They destroyed one another. Verse 23. And then by verse 24, Judah came towards the head watchtower in the wilderness. They looked upon the multitude. Behold, they were dead bodies. 
that shall be your testimony. They were falling to the earth, that shall be your testimony. Not one of the devils escaped. I said, that shall be your testimony. If you are ready for that, make your amen the loudest one. Let me help you. There are three categories of praise. It's important for us to know. Three categories of praise. Praise in categories. The level of praise determines the level of results you command. Your level of praise determines the level of results you command. Number one category of praise is normal praise. Psalm 149 verse 3. Let them praise his name in a dance. Let them sing praise unto him with timbrel and harp. Normal praise. We are singing and we are dancing. Normal praise. The second one is high praises. Let high praise, verse 149, verse 6, of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. You do high praise, you attract wonders. You give high praise, you attract high level of wonders. You give unusual order of praise, you attract higher levels of results in your life. Up to verse 9. Bible says they praise him, and then God came down and intervention came. That shall be your praise. Your, that shall be your story in Jesus' mighty name. And the third one, yeah, this is the highest praise. That's the one that is judgmental praise. To execute judgment that is written. That's the triumphant praise, the Hosanna order of praise. That you must enter the city triumphantly. Hosanna. Blessed is that come in the name of the Lord. Jesus was entering the city. In Matthew 21, 9 to 16. You can read all. But they were singing all the highest level of praise. They bought their palm trees. They laid them down. Blessed is he that cometh. Hosanna in the highest. And the Bible tells us Jesus rode into Jerusalem triumphantly. They had to say, who is this? As he entered, he was so triumphant that he entered into the habitation and saw in the house of God buying and selling. He whipped out every devil from the place. Whipped out every devil. What wonder is this? Have you not heard? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, God perfects praise. That's perfected praise. We're going to do that this morning. Perfected praise. Now we're going to do that this morning. In Psalm 8. Verse 2, side by side with this passage. Psalm 8, verse 2. The highest order of praise. Out of the mouth of pluckers, babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained strength to do what? Because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. You are going to dance today. Judgment will answer in the camp of the enemy. Judgment will answer in the camp of your enemies. I'm not hearing your loudest amen if you're there. I said, Judgment will answer in the camp of your enemies. I said, the answer in the camp of your enemies. Scream the loudest, amen, you are going free. So praise is a vital requirement for fresh oil. But enhances your level of command on science and wonders. It's a vital requirement for fresh oil that enhances our level of command of science and wonders. You mustn't be a beggar again after today. I've been dancing for the last seven days we have been dancing for the last four weeks you must beg on any matter psalm 92 verse 1 to 2 it says it's a good thing to give thanks unto the lord say amen and to sing praise of thy name almost high a lot amen verse 2 to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night a lot amen that shall be your help now let's see verse 10 to 15 we're going to read it prophetically 10 to 15 the loudest you can I read verse 10, you read verse 11 up to 15. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Come on, say fresh oil. Say fresh oil. Say fresh. Say loud. Say fresh. Now read verse 11. Want to go very loud. My eyes shall see my desire upon my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire on the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. I'm not hearing an amen from somebody. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. I'm not hearing the loudest amen. 
now verse 13 one to go if that for you a loudest amen you are going back home fat and flourishing they shall bring forth fruit in old age they shall be fat and flourishing now verse 15 the loudest one to go If that's for you and your God's came the loudest, hallelujah. <laughs> lift up your voice and celebrate that God that never fails. Just thank him. Lift your two hands. Celebrate him. Larry Amasa, the God of signs and wonders. I'm expecting a field station today. I'm expecting triumph today. I'm expecting liberty today. I'm ready to give you not normal praise. I'm ready to give you high praise. I want to give you the highest praise. I want to see the supernatural distribution of angelic helps. In Jesus' mighty name. The loudest amen. Your soul is changing now. Our God is a story changing God. Our God is a story changing God. It's a captivity turning God. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. A story changing God, a captivity turning God. Did you hear that testimony? The man said for 13 years he was a bus conductor. 13 years. Or 13, sorry, 13 years ago. He was a bus conductor. That was nothing good about his life. He said, But I gave my life to Jesus. He was a Muslim before. God delivered him from marijuana to alcoholism and then from courtism. And 2007, he was going to get married, and he was advised, do a very small marriage. If you announce it, you'll be barren. He said, I refuse this. And he got married the same year of their wedding. At Shiloh 2017, the wife became pregnant. That evil spell against you, scheme a loud amen, come back to the sender. <laughs> Two years after Shiloh 20, 2009, she got pregnant for the second child. Shiloh 2013, that's about four years after she had the third child. The one they said we're going to get barren. God give three children. Stretch your hands here. I declare with faith. Every evil proverb against you and your family, every evil verdict against your destiny, every arrow from hell. That is working against your life. I declare by a vow of Jehovah, by the dagger of Jehovah, instant judgment against the camp of the enemy. You are going to have miracle children this year. You are going to have miracle marriage this year. You are going to have promotions this year. You are going to have enlargements this year. Scream a loud amen. Your soul is changing. He said, Con stand for me. we are soon going to stand and dance. So a few moments, the one that was bus conductor, he said, today God has changed my story. A former bus conductor is now a landlord. I'm not sure you're hearing me. A former bus conductor, I now own my own company. I've traveled abroad, including the United States of America and London and Australia and I give God all the glory ready for change of story screen have you not heard Psalm 126 verse 1 to 6 when 126 verse 1 to 6 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we are like them that dream hello read verse 2 very loud there was a man filled with laughter and our tongue with singing and they said among the heathen what the lord has done great things for them and then verse three the lord has one to go turn again my captivity oh lord as the streams of the south jump on your feet and swim he's still turning captivities he's still he changed the story of abraham and sarah that god will change your story it changed the story of Jabez. I said that God will change your story. It changed the story of Peter. I said that God will change your story. Lift up your voices and cry to that God. They say, I'm the Lord. I changed, but I changed stories. Cry to that God. El Kazatama. 
ask him specifically lord rewrite my story today open a new chapter for me lift up your two hands i'm not negotiating i'm not discussing i'm not compromising i want a change of story today El Kasunama, El Kataba, as far as your eyes can see. Tell God I'm seeing very far. I'm seeing my children. I'm seeing very far. I'm seeing my business enlarge. I'm seeing very far. I'm seeing good old age. I'm seeing very far. I'm seeing international open doors. Lydia Kataba, cry out to God. El Tama, my children must never be jobless. No, no weapon formed against it shall prosper. Nobody can pray for you like you. Nobody can pray for you like you. Selia Buraka Tuna Nana Nana El Kasusa Leka Tuna Mania Bra Zuzuzuzua Leka Nototototo Empa Burokotakata Cry out Akaba Turn again my captivity Turn again my captivity Turn again my captivity Opa Katobalada Braka Zotamaya El Kasuzaza Luria Nama Kataba Enta Katuna Mina Olada balana ma, zuzu zuzu a, luria makatoba. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm not hearing an amen from a liberated destiny. <laughs> Sir, God can't change your story and you not know it. If He turns the thing, you will know it. He said, when they turned again the captivity of Sal, it was like them that dream. And then he filled their mouth with laughter. I decree to somebody. Ah! Oh, Shaba. The kind of turn around that will give you laughter. That will give you celebration. That will give you intervention. Jump and scream seven days. It is yours. I said, jump and scream. It is yours in this service today. I said, jump and scream. It is yours in this service today. I said, jump and scream. It is yours in this service today. I said, jump and scream. It is yours in this service today. Jump and scream. I said, it is yours in this service today. Jump and scream. It is yours. Jump and scream. It is yours. Jump and scream. It is yours. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 As you are jumping, I saw all kinds of devils disappear out of your destiny. As you are jumping, every generational curse is cursed today. As you are jumping and screaming, I saw that thing choking your neck as a firstborn. You are free now in the name of Jesus. As you are jumping and skipping, I saw everything turning around for you. I saw everything turning around for you. I saw everything turning around for you. Scream! God does special things for his own. Wherever you are, you have been in church all these days, all these years, but you are not sure you are saved. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Let the work of the devil end in your life today. Just receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Just surrender to him. He will end the work of the devil in your life. Wherever you are, you want to be free indeed. Lift your right hand. I want to pray for you. You want to be free indeed. No more poverty. No more shame. No more attacks in the middle of the night. All the curse over your family. Pick your bag and Bible. Rush out here now. I want to pray for you. I don't want to fail anymore. People around them, help them. Run out here now. I want to be saved. Rush out here now. 
I want to be free. I don't want to suffer again. Jesus, deliver me. Keep running. Rush out here now. Jesus, set me free. Change my name and change my story. The way you clap for them, that's how they will clap for you this year. Run. That's how they clap for you this year. Run. Jesus, save me. Jesus, help me. I don't want to fail again. Run to Jesus. I don't want to suffer again. Run to Jesus. I surrender. Deliver me. Deliver my family. As you are coming out, start praying. As you are coming out, start praying. As you are coming out, start praying. Church, are you clapping? I want to be free. Help me. I want to be free. Save me. Please, let them climb up a bit so that they can make room. Jesus. Keep coming. I want to be saved. Jesus, help me. You made my life. I want to be saved. Jesus, save me. Rush out here. Come on! Jesus, you love me too much, Lord. Too much, Lord. Too much, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Come on, come on. Jesus, you love me too much, Lord. Too much, Lord. Too much, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. My friends, you're here for the first time on a Sunday morning there's a special package waiting for you you mustn't go back empty handed wherever you are under the sound of my voice you want Jesus to welcome you to a new chapter of your life the God of winners today is your first time on a Sunday morning remain standing the rest of us be seated today is your first time in this church on a Sunday morning that God of excess love is here for you you're welcome. People around here, welcome them the winner's way. God bless you. Pick up your bag and Bible. Come to the front here. Today's your first time. Keep coming. Come, come, come. Thank you for loving me too. Come on, come, come. Let them come. Thank you for loving me too. Jesus, you love me too much. Hallelujah. All those that want to surrender your life to Jesus today, lift your right hand. I want to pray for you. Everybody, give me your life to Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender. Save me. Make me your own child. I confess all my sins. Blood of Jesus, set me free. Change my name and change my story. From today, I surrender. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I dedicate my life to serve you with all my heart, with all my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Today I'm born again in Jesus' mighty name. Put your right hand on your heart. I'm going to pray. Father, look at this, your sons and daughters, asking you for the miracle of salvation. Give each one of them a brand new heart, a brand new life. Change their name and change their story. From today, I declare the last trouble you saw shall be the last one forever. And I declare from today, all things are passed away. All things become new. You will never struggle to go forward in your life again. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Open your eyes. Congratulations. You won't shed tears on that matter again. You came here today for the uh, today. You have given your life to Jesus. Please.
follow the instruction they're going to give you and the next seven days make sure you are a part of serving the lord come next sunday god will take you from the back to the topmost up in jesus mighty name the lord bless you will have a special attention for you follow these pastors and they will attend to you church are you clapping bigger for the lord can i pass us help them also my dear friends they are here for the first time you will go back over the first time miracle say a loud amen god always does new things your story is like a 20 chapter book chapter one chapter two chapter three good news a new chapter opens for you today in the name of jesus christ you have come in here for the first time today a first time miracle we go back home with you it's a winning family who you company with determines what accompanies you you will never lose a battle in your life again you have come to this healthy family no more sickness in your life you have come to this blessed family i declare be blessed in jesus mighty name you have come to this family that is making progress from now your story shall be forward ever backward never bow your heads and ask god for a miracle ask god for a testimony ask god to do you good ask god for something special thank you lord blessed be your name in jesus mighty name open your eyes i declare within seven days whatever you ask for we answer for you for a miracle follow these pastors they have a special welcome package for you and they can quickly join us in the service touch are you clapping as they go bigger for the lord bigger better come on scream listen friends leviticus chapter 19 tells us the things that's going to happen in our lives the next seven days between now and next sunday verse 23 he said and when ye shall come into the land you shall have planted all manner of trees for food then ye shall count the fruit thereof as they are circumcised three years shall it be as a circumcised as it, uh, it unto you but it shall not be eaten off but in the fourth year all the fruit thereof shall be holy unto the lord and praise the lord that's what he are going today today is the fourth year the fourth day we are going to give him explosive praise and once we do that, between now and the fifth year, the fifth Sunday, read the next verse, verse 25. One to go. Verse 25. One to go. And in the fifth year, what? You shall eat the fruit thereof. For it shall yield unto you, increase thereof, for I am the Lord. Within the next seven days, the kind of increase you have never seen in your family. You have never seen in your generation the loudest amen it will answer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That testimony is like the Chinese bamboo proverb. Four years, nothing. The seed is looking in the ground, but it's spreading in the earth. It's getting down in the earth. But by the fifth year, pop, the earth will open. It will shoot up to 90 feet tall. Next Sunday is going to be a special invitation service. That God will launch your destiny to the heights you have never imagined. Everybody come with as many souls as you have ever reached out to. Studio we put on the screen. We have a massive drive between all from Monday, indicating everybody involved. The choir, children's church, teen church, color group, prayer squad on Monday. Youth Alive, CCU Covenants, Friends, Hospitality on Tuesday. Ushering Technical, Sanctuary Traffic on Thursday. All men and women in this family on Friday and Saturday we're having a massive citywide rally. Every living member of this church went that drive. We are driving and driving that in the next seven days we shoot up like cocoa and you'll be eating for it for the rest of your life. If you already make your amen the loudest time. It's saying the fourth year, the fourth day, no negotiation, just explode with praise. We're going to dance shortly. Take out your prayer card. We'll pray. And then we'll receive the prophetic blessings. And then we'll hold your thanksgiving offering. And then we'll dance our heaviest dance. And you will roll and dance. Determine which one you want. Whether normal praise or high praise or highest praise. Which one do you want? Normal praise. So we can quickly tell the choir. They regulate it. You want high praise? Maybe the increase is small. Which one do you want? 
jump on your feet take your prayer cards and begin to declare angelic help charge the angels to begin to help you everyone El Katamama, I'm a firstborn I refuse to remain at the back I have a place in front El Katama and Tomalia Bra Zozo Leke Toma I'm a frontliner I cause backwardness in my life look at those matters I begin to declare El Katama Maria Castle Tebala El Palanama I'm ordained the firstborn everyone whose firstborn child looks like it's too slow call them by name El Katunama everyone you are supposed to be a frontliner where you are walking it looks like they have covered your glory covered your star cost that devil today El Tumana El Kasazoa El Pata Mantoba El Kazo Neriyama Katolaba Etama Malada Buraka Neriyaba Studio help me Genesis 49 verse 3 Studio help me Genesis 49 verse 3 Ledia Baraba Gloria Masa in Jesus mighty name we pray look at that scripture how many here in Christ you know you are a firstborn lift your two hands and let me hear your loudest amen. amen read that scripture one to go Reuben thou art my firstborn what my might I want the beginning of my strength what the excellency of dignity I want that's the destiny of a firstborn excellency in dignity excellence in power excellence in glory excellence in honor scream a loud amen that shall be your love from now in the name of Jesus God. lift up your voice and cry out that blessing to rest upon your life rest upon your children rest upon your job rest upon your life they are the beginning of God's strength I refuse to be at the bar El Tumana Geta Blata Zuzua El Katonama Bra, so so so, like a tena, noska, talama, polane, kratua, elkaba. That man said I was a conductor 13 years ago. Now I own my business. Lord, change my story. Now I own my own company. God, change my story. I'm now flying to America, to UK. Lord, open up my destiny. El to balana, el kaza to lama, embra kagagagaba, o katabalanama. And the Basinama, Sekatuba. I'm not negotiating. I'm not discussing. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stretch your hands, care. For anyone and everyone, stretch your hands, stretch your cards, serving God in this place. You are entitled to His blessings. You are entitled to His liberty. You are entitled to His promotion. I declare now whatever because blessing is the cure for curses the cost of men the cost of system harvest i prophesy everyone suffering from a curse by the blessing of the upright be free in the name of jesus because you are serving god in this place every siege of curse and enchantment every dragon sitting on your destiny every other eating your blessing and swallowing your progress every siege every plague every enchantment slowing down your life is caused in the name of jesus begin to make progress in the name of jesus begin to advance in the name of jesus be enlarged on every side i'm not hearing your loud as a man if you're there as far as your eyes can see everyone praying kingdom advancing prayers every day you are in prayers every afternoon you are in prayers every midnight you are in prayers you are praying for god to bring in souls for god to establish the souls for god to settle them you even pray this morning for god to bring them everybody strong on the prayer altar i decree seven days supernatural reward we answer for you in seven days, supernatural prosperity we answer for you. In seven days, unusual speed we answer for you. Receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Next level, so that breakthroughs receive it in the name of Jesus. You have been carrying God on your shoulder, carrying God on your neck. I declare the kind of miracle you need people to help you to receive, help you to share, help you to enjoy. You will give jobs to many jump and sing that's your love from today 
I said the next seven weeks, that's your Lord from today. I'm not hearing your Lord as a man. You have served God from January till now. Some have never missed church. Some have never failed. Some have never ever missed their tithe one day. I decree seven days. Stretch your hands here. A comprehensive change of story. In your finances, you are entering next level financial breakthrough. I say in your head, you are entering next level financial breakthrough. I said, open the wall, we answer for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You have been out there all through the year. Operation, come and see you are all there. Operation, by all means, you have been there speaking the truth of God's word. He said, you will know the truth. You will speak the truth and the truth shall set you free. I declare every good thing you have been calling for God to do for you and your children in seven days good things will follow you everywhere the loudest amen you are coming out of that prison house the angels that delivered peter scream a loud amen they will deliver you this time the loudest amen you are going back with a change of story put your card on the front and then the hottest stones you have step on that devil he said we subdue them under our feet El Kasotama, subdue every devil under our feet. El Kotamania, Brakasosama, restoration of your health. I decree now. Restoration of your health. I decree now. Translation of every sickness. I decree now. Everything that has given you attack in your health comes under cause. Everything causing breakdown in your life comes on thy course. Everything stopping you from making progress comes on thy course. Terminal disease is terminated. Everything blocking the progress of your children, of your grandchildren. You are the firstborn. You must not be at the back. Cause stagnation in your life. You are the firstborn. You must not be at the back. Cause poverty in your life. Step back, lift up your cards, wave them and scream the loudest hallelujah. Wave them and scream a triumphant hallelujah. I say jump and scream, God will fill your mouth with laughter. Now let's go to praise. Normal praise. High praise. Highest praise. Jump and scream. I like you to check yourself in the midst of that place. All strangers are disappearing from your body. All sickness are disappearing from your body. Whatever will not let you go, we go for your sake today. Check yourself. You are going back totally free in the name of Jesus. As you see, some God has done something for you. Don't hide it. Come out here. The pastor waited. will rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. Also now, lift up your thanksgiving offering for the month. And then thank God for whatever he has done for you. January say now. Celebrate him. Thank him. Poverty is cost. Shame is cost. Mockery is cost. Thank him. Celebrate in advance. Father, thank you. Accept our Thanksgiving offering. Let, lift it up. Lift up your offering now. Financial corruption is cost in every family here. Whatever you are thanking God for, the Lord has said that shall be your lowest level in life. They will send for you this time. Those will open to you this time. Hell will answer for you this time. Scream the loudest. Amen. They will find you at the top. You are blessed. Now let's go. Drop your offering. Dance high praise. Let's go. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord divine. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord
Sing God touch you today. You know God has filled your mouth with laughter today. Jump and scream. It's time to let God know. I thank you. Sickness disappeared. Depression disappeared. Oppression disappeared. Frustration disappeared. As you now celebrate. And then also pick up your OB form. As many BCC, LCC, LDC. Pick up your forms. The pass are going. Pick up your forms. And once you have a testimony, don't hide it. Just rush out here. As you celebrate God, there shall be perfection. Tell your neighbor, give me some space, I beg you. Just give me some space. It's me and my God now. I must have my own testimony. Give me some space. Now let's go. The hottest one, three more minutes. Give him the heaviest one. Russia here. Be Amen. Listen, the level of praise you give, that's the level of miracle you want. If you want normal miracle, you give normal praise. Is that what you want? You want high miracle, you give high praise. Is that what you want? Now you want the highest level of miracles. Come on, jump and scream. Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Holy Ghost, we give you glory. Jehovah, Jireh, we give you glory. Oh, Jehovah, we give you glory. Oh, Jehovah, we give you glory. Oh, Jehovah, we give you glory. 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 Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, only you. Only you are capable. Hey, only you are reliable. Come on with your testimony. Come on with your testimony. Come on with your testimony. Oh, 
normal praise so we had this time is high praise third service we're going to close the third service with 30 minutes of non-stop praise that's perfected praise that's perfection praise that's judgmental praise tell your neighbor i advise you better make sure you are in that third service Let's hear the testimonies. Praise the Lord. Praise sharp, the sharp. Lord. I will take Ozoma Precious with your hand to Jesus. I will take Precious. Where is that? This yeah. location for one week. Now healed totally. Completely. Sit down Jesus. for one minute. Juliet. Sit Igwe. down for one minute. Juliet, you wave your hand to Jesus. God heal me of abnormal pain during the course of the praise. Shabbat wow. Hallelujah. Are you clapping for Jesus? For how long? Pastors, please Isuturo. always write how long. Isuturo Emmanuel, wave your hand to Jesus. Stomach pain and chest pain for one year. God, hear me. Come on. One year. One year. Cleared completely. Come on, give God a shout of prayer. King Chikwendo. King Chikwendo, wave your hand to Jesus. Pain and oddness in the abdomen for two weeks. Now heal totally. Cleared. What he does for one, he does for all. We have seen four. That means no matter the calamity that came here with you, scream aloud, amen, it is ended now in the name of Jesus. All those testimonies are established, sealed and delivered. Remember, pick up your experience with God in action. It's going to be a mantle in your hand. Next Sunday, everybody come with your white handkerchief. It's going back with you with a mantle. It's going to be that encounter that will shoot your destiny to the topmost stop. If you are ready for that seven days, stop most of encounter, jump on your feet and scream. Well, that service is for perfection, complete restoration, complete intervention. God will perfect what concerns you. Remember, we have a schedule for prayers every day, six to seven, eight to eight to ten, one to two, and five to six thirty. Every day. If you have not been a part of it, make sure you are there from tomorrow. If I've been a part of it, the continuity is the rule of the game. Don't miss it. And from there, outreach every day. The schedule is stated there, still put on the screen. Make sure you're a part of every day. And Saturday, every living winner with all our cards, dressed in t-shirts, and then your canvas shoes, you wear jeans, you wear chinos, we're hitting the road for Jesus. Sunday morning, come on. Sunday morning, it shall be special impartation service. The prophetic said date, are you clapping for Jesus? The kind of crowd we have never seen. Kind of testimonies we have never had. If you own shall be a part of them, jump on your feet and scream. Oh, in peace. I declare, within 24 hours, you will hear good news. Within 24 hours, God will open a new chapter for you. Everywhere they have been saying sorry to you, it shall be congratulations everywhere. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It is done. And particularly, if God has done any good thing for you this month, you want to dedicate it to the Lord, special thanksgiving in the third service, child dedication in the third service. And then every one of us, we had four marriages yesterday, there'll be marriage dedication in the third service. Let's share goodness together one to go. Surely, God's goodness and measure follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. 
forever. Amen. Peace. The Lord is gone. I have dominion.